Hi guys! With version 2 of our Yeet WooCommerce product add-ons and extra options plugin, we added some HTML elements. Now, these are not options that can be selected by customers, they are not clickable, but they are very useful for customizing the layout of the options you inserted in the products pages. In this video, I'm going to show you the new HTML elements and how to use them within a block of options. Before we get into it, let me remind you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to be working with this engagement ring. You might have seen it before in one of our videos about using the label or image add-on. Today, we're going to use it again to add the HTML elements. So let's go to my dashboard, Yeet, product add-ons, and let's select the block that was assigned to that engagement ring here. What I'm going to do first is add a text underneath the metal type options to, let's say, provide additional information about the metal types. So add option. Here you have the three HTML elements, heading, text, and separator. We're going to use the text now. And this is just a text field. There is nothing more to it. I'm going to add a text. So that's my text. White, gold, and platinum can have a similar appearance as they give the ring a white glimmer that enhances the diamond's brilliance. I'm going to save. And as you add options, you might realize that they're always added to the end. But I want this text to be underneath the metal type options because it's additional information about the metal type. So I'm going to use the option to drag and drop. There you go. Save. Let's go to the site to see the changes. Refresh. There you go. Now I have this text that I just added as an HTML element. Now, if you look at this, I think that this and these options are too close together. I need a space between this. I need something to separate these two elements. So let's go back to the dashboard and let's add a separator there. Add options. So now we're going to use the separator element. What I'm going to add right now is just an empty white space. So I'm going to expand here. I have five options. I have simple border, double border, dotted border, dashed border, or empty space. I'm going to use empty space. I'm not going to touch this, but I am going to change the height to 30 pixels. Save. And again, it was set it here. I'm going to drag and drop under the text element. Now here's another thing we could do. If I wanted to add the white space between other elements, I could simply duplicate this. And now I have another one that I'm going to drag and drop under diamond shape. And I'm going to duplicate this again to place it under the diamond size. Okay, now save. Back to the side, refresh. And now you see that I have a 30 pixels white space right here. Another one here and another one here. This is great to separate the options that you add to your products so they're not so close together. Now the white space is not the only option that we have. We could add a border to separate the elements. So back to the dashboard. Let's edit this one. The first separator. Edit. Now. 
We said before that we had five options. Let's choose a double border. The width is going to be 50. The height is going to be 15. And let's choose a color for this. Let's choose something like mm, turquoise. Something like this. There you go. Save. Save. Back to the side. Refresh. And now we have, instead of a white space, a double border separator. And its width is 50%, not 100%. And here we have just empty white space. We had another HTML element. Let's go back. Add options. We have the heading. So this is basically to add, let's say, a kind of a title. You also have different types of heading. H1 being the biggest font, let's say, and H6 being the smallest one. So let's choose H1. And we're going to just to choose um, something like choose your preferences. Again, let's set the color. Something like this. Save. And let's set it to the top of the list. There save back to the side and there is my new heading again i chose h1 so that is the biggest font you can choose another one just to make it a bit smaller and of course these are not clickable options these are not really options for the customer to choose these are just elements that will help you with the layout of the options okay so if i added these options to the card view card of course i am not going to see the html elements here i'm just going to see the real options that customers can click on so there you go guys that's how you can add html elements to your block of options to make it more organized and to have a better layout of the options Okay guys, so that was it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video.